Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ's name is a wonderful name, powerful name. Praise the Lord. So that we can worship our Lord in and out, wherever we are. Your glory, for you are in the light You have no rival, you have no equal. No one for you, I is the king. Yours is the glory, yours is the name of our name. The powerful name it is, not the powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Not the powerful name it is. Jesus Christ's name is a powerful name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Death could not hold you. Will it all be for you? 
Silence of voice, O seen and grieved. Heavens are roaring, praise of your glory, for you are ready to life again. You have no rival, you have no equal. Now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory, yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is, what a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ's name is such a powerful name. Wonderful name. All the names which you are seeing in this earth. Our Jesus Christ's name is above all the names which we are seeing in this age, in this earth. Jesus Christ's name is a powerful name. Praise the Lord. In the world name, when we are saying something about, uh, through the world name, we will not get anything. But in Jesus Christ's name, we will get uh, something from the heaven. Praise the Lord. Because the reason is, our heavenly father sent his own son, that Jesus Christ's name is a uh, heavenly Father name, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what Gospel John chapter 17 says. Before the death of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was praying to the Heavenly Father, keep them in your name. Keep all the people, those who are going to born again, those who are going to live in this world, keep everybody in your name, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, I want to read today before I start this section. I want to pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, when I'm, when I'm sharing this word of God, let this word of God spread to all the people's life, Father, as the mighty power of the Lord. Father, I bless each one of them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Bible says, um, um, Gospel John chapter 15. Just today I'm going to read Gospel John chapter 15. Which is one on which. Praise the Lord. The people are watching online. Please share this word uh, and request to all the people. Please share this gospel message. When you are sharing this gospel message, um, you are also doing uh, the God's work. Praise the Lord. And Gospel John chapter. Uh, 15 verses 1 says, Jesus Christ is saying, I am the true wine, and my father is the wine dresser. I am the true wine. Uh, this is a word of Jesus Christ. Whenever, wherever Jesus Christ was uh, doing uh, his public ministry um, in this world, that time in all the places Jesus Christ was saying, directly or indirectly, praise the Lord, that I am from heaven, and um, Heavenly Father sent me um, uh, to execute his will uh, in this earth. To execute, that means send me to preach uh, the salvation to everybody. This is a will of my father. And also Jesus Christ was saying, I am in the father and father in me. Praise the Lord. And those who are believing in me, that means you are accepting my father, heavenly father. The reason is I am in the father, father is in me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what Jesus Christ was saying when he was living in this public world, public uh, public ministry, when he was living in this world, when he was doing his public ministry. Jesus Christ was saying uh, like that. Most of the time, the disciples, they could not understand what Jesus Christ was saying. Praise the Lord. Finally, when Jesus Christ was say, um, sitting um, privately with all the disciples, disciples, they were they went and asking to Jesus Christ, oh, what happened? What is the meaning of the parable? Praise the Lord. What happened? What is the meaning of the parable? Uh, Bible says, 
uh, Jesus Christ was, with the nature of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ always will explain everything. Whatever they were, they, if they are asking anything, does it matter? If anybody is saying anything against Jesus Christ, or somebody is saying anything against Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will stand there, they, he will listen. And if it is possible, if it is required, Jesus Christ was giving the answer of that question. Praise the Lord. In all the times, in all the ways. That means, so for example, the Jewish people, they were asking about um, the, the, uh, the identity of Jesus Christ. Then Jesus Christ was saying to the, uh, to the Jewish people, you look at the sign which I'm doing. The man cannot do this, uh, this kind of signs. The man cannot heal the sick people. Man cannot give the vision to the blind. Look at the people which they are going to receive, which they are receiving the healing. This is directly has happened through the hands of the Heavenly Father, not through me. Praise the Lord. I was doing everything in the will of the Heavenly Father, executing the will of the Heavenly Father in this world. Praise the Lord. This is what Jesus Christ was saying. You know, when the time of the uh, uh, the Lazarus got died, Jesus Christ raised Lazarus from the death to the life. After that, what happened? All the Jewish people came. They were asking the question against Jesus Christ. Then what happened? And uh, um, the, um, this man is doing is uh, so, so many signs and wonders among the people. In another words, we can see even if the Jewish people, even if they were asking something against Jesus Christ, they were believing, most of the Jewish people, they were believing in their heart. This, this man, this, this is a God, um, this Jesus is a Christ. Praise the Lord. After the resurrection of, after um, Lazarus God died, he could come out from the death uh, to the life in the word of Jesus Christ. All the Jewish people, they came to know, they were surprised. Because they could not see any kind of this kind of miracle in their lifetime in this world. Today, I want to say to all the people, the people are watching online. In your life, our God is going to do an extraordinary things. Which you could not ever see in your life. Today, you are going to see the things which our God is going to do in your life. The reason is, Jesus Christ is saying, I am in the Father, Father is in me. The Bible says, uh, Gospel John chapter 15 verses 1 says, I am the true wine and my father is the wine dresser. Every branch in me does not bear fruit. He takes away. Praise the Lord. That's what. Every branch in me does not bear the fruit. He takes away and every branch that bears fruits, he prunes that it may bear more fruits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing. Heavenly Father sent Jesus Christ to this world to spread the salvation. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ was having lots of opportunity in this world. He has got lots of opportunity to go in another way and live the worldly life. But Jesus Christ was a God. Jesus Christ was obeying the Heavenly Father. Jesus Christ was fulfilling the desire of the Heavenly Father. This is the reason each and every time, each and every moment, Jesus Christ was having the awareness about what he was doing in this world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is what, you know, all the people, those who are born again people, this is your duty. You should have the awareness what you are in Christ Jesus. So that when my early life, uh, when I start my ministry, the public ministry, praise the Lord, I was alone. Most of the places, I was doing the ministry by myself. Some places I was getting the people, praise the Lord. Most of the places I was not getting any of the people, uh, the people they could not join with me. Most of the places, uh, when, I, when I want to preach the gospel in the street, I was going by myself. I was not asking anybody's help. When I go for the preach the gospel, uh, when I reach, um, uh, when I'm reaching any of the cities, that time, 
sometimes some street preachers will be there. Sometimes nobody was there when I was reaching any of the cities, especially in the London and surrounding areas. If the people, those who are here in this word of God, they were coming and standing with me. Praise the Lord. This is what it was happening. Some places I went to, I remember I went to one place with a name called the Leatherhead. They say very near to London Croydon. And when I went for preaching the gospel in Leatherhead, then what happened? And lots of the village people, nobody was there. Only a few people, they were watching there. Uh, nobody was preaching the gospel there. When I went there myself, and the street people, they were coming and helping. Praise the Lord. The street people, they came and helped me. If you are doing the God's work wherever you want, it doesn't matter in and out if you are doing. The presence of the Lord, the touch of the Lord will come to you. Praise the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? The touch of the Lord will come to you. The protest, in another way, the protection of the Lord will come to you. Bible says, uh, Gospel John chapter 15 verse 2 says, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The will of God is, if you are the born again person, you have to do something for God. Does it matter your circumstances? Does it matter your background? Does it matter the situations? In the will of God is each and every time you have to do something for God. My Facebook account, everything got blocked. Facebook page got blocked. I lose the admin control. Praise the Lord. That means anybody can share that one there. My old, uh, you know, that one, uh, the Facebook account. That I have already reported. My pay of a group also out of my control. If I have lost all these things, can I be able to stop the, uh, can, is it possible to stop the, uh, to preach the gospel every day? No. I want to continue to preach the gospel in and out, in all the places. Does it matter how many number of people are watching? This is very, very important whether you are preaching the gospel or not. The will of the devil is to hide you. The devil knows very well. You are the anointed one. You are anointed from the Holy One. You are so powerful in Christ Jesus. What devil want to do? He want to hide your preaching from the people. If any of the people are here in this word, your word of God, they will come to know, they will come to the salvation. The will of the trick of the devil is they, they will want to hide your preaching. But this is a God's time. Our God has appointed you to preach the gospel. This is your time in the year of 2021 that the, the word of God is you will get enlargement. You will get multiplication in the year of 2021 in the old areas of your life. Because of this reason, I want to say to all the people, your life which you are spending for God, that will not be waste. Are you getting what I'm saying? The life which you are doing for God, the things which you are doing for God, that is not at all waste. Praise the Lord. In all the years of your life, you are getting the protection from the Lord. When all my social media account got blocked, Mind you are saying, oh, today, what you should do? You cannot be able to preach the gospel anymore. What you have to do it? My mind was saying like that. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship. My mind was saying like that. What should I do when my old social media account got uh, blocked? Then immediately I said to my mind, the year of 2021 is the word of, um, you know, that one, the year of enlargement, the year of multiplication. Can I sit my house to preach the, without preaching the gospel? No. 
i want to preach the gospel to the nations i want to spread the salvation to the lost for this purpose our god has called pastor jolly to preach the gospel to the nations all the ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters in christ jesus the work which you are doing for god that is not at all waste in the will of god is you have to get first in the old areas of your life does it matter how it is does it matter how it will be praise the lord the main important one is what is your desire in your heart whether you have desire to preach the gospel bible says every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruits praise the lord that means if you are born again person we are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in christ jesus we are sitting in the heavenly places our power is over all the principalities and power over all the dark things of the world nothing shall by any means hurt you the work which you are doing for god don't think you are doing by your own effort you are not at all doing by anything by your own effort you are doing all the work by the mighty power of the holy spirit praise the lord are you get what i'm saying the world entire world entire world will be against you devil will not get you sometimes any of the provision to preach the gospel but you have bible with me with you holy bible with you go to the street and preach the gospel the public people will hear the word of god one day they will take your video they will flash it out your facebook and social medias praise lord this is what is going to happen in your life all the brothers and sisters in christ jesus all the ladies and gentlemen in christ jesus the work which you are doing for god that is not at all waste in christ jesus in all the areas our god is worthy to help you our god is worthy to help you in the all the areas of your life praise the lord hallelujah so i want to encourage to all the people today you are no more failure in christ jesus day by day you will get flourish year by day you will get flourish the nations will come and wait for you the nations will wait for you if you are the preacher you will get a reason to enjoy in christ jesus if you are the preacher you will get a reason to dance in front of the lord the reason is our god is your helper he will never leave you nor forsake you praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah you have no rival you have no equal now one for ever god you reign your sis the kingdom your sis the glory your sis the name above all name what a powerful name it is what a powerful name it is the name of jesus Christ my king what a powerful name it is nothing compares to this what a powerful name it is the name of jesus sometimes if i if i could not preach the gospel i cannot i cannot sleep every day i want to preach the gospel praise the lord hallelujah so that i want to say if you are the born again person we a bible says book of ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says we are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in christ jesus we are sitting in the heavenly places we are executing the power from the heaven in this earth bible says bible says it is well written nobody can do anything in your life praise the lord if you believe in the word of god the work which you are doing for god you will do extra double work for god you will do the hard working for god each and every day you will do something extra hard work for god the reason is our god is appointed you to preach the gospel our god has given you a apostle role to preach the gospel this is what apostle paul was doing 
This is what Apostle Peter was doing. Apostle Peter, he was so afraid to preach the gospel. After getting the mighty touch from the Holy Spirit, Apostle Paul, he was preaching, Apostle Peter, he was preaching the gospel boldly in front of the nations, thousands and thousands of people. Millions and millions of people, they got the salvation through these apostles. Bible says, praise the Lord, if you are not bearing fruits, every branch in me that does not bear fruits, he takes away. Our God will take away the talent, the talent, the opportunity, the gifts, which our God has given to you. Our God will take away from you. After that, our God will give to somebody's hand to preach the gospel. If our God has given you a healing power in you, this is the talent. This is the gift. This is the opportunity which our God has given to you in your life. All the ladies and gentlemen, all the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, do something for God. In and out, day or night, doesn't matter. Either cold or winter, either summer or hot. Summer or winter, doesn't matter. Do something for God. Our God will honor you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our, another thing. Uh, when you are doing the gospel work, sometimes you will be, uh, you will, everybody will get the right situation. Even Pastor Jolly too. Praise the Lord. When I was getting the right situation, what I was doing, I will take my video straight preaching. I will look at the video. I will see. Oh, this is I am. This is what I praise the Lord. <laughs> I was looking like that. Oh, this is what I praise the Lord. I was looking accordingly. Then I was getting more energy and power to preach the gospel. Wherever I was preaching according. So most of the time when I was getting the right situation, normally I will never call to anybody. No need. No need. Because we are the we all are the child of the law. No need to contact always anybody. Oh, Pastor Kari, please pray. No. We are praying. We have got authority to pray in front of the Lord. Our God will hear our prayer. Praise the Lord. Because of this reason, when I was getting any of the right situation, I will um, open my video, old video. I will see my preaching. My preaching I will see. I was flashing out always my preaching to the world. The same thing. All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Those who are in Christ Jesus. I want to say to all the people, the work which you have done for God, that is not at all waste. Our God will honor you each and every day of your life. In another words, you will get a reason to rejoice in Christ Jesus each and every day. The world will come against you, but if you are in Christ Jesus, our God will give you new wings to fly on over all the mountains. You will get a joyful heart, which all the world people, they were not having this joyful heart, but you have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So all the people, the Bible says, if you are not bearing fruits, our God will take away the fruits, the gift which our God has given to you. Our God is, our God, in another words, our God will raise the another people in place of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible says. And by, again, Bible says, and uh, he abides in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruits of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abides in me. This is a very important one. All the people, all the pastors, all the ministers, all the born again people, each and every people, you should come to know without Jesus Christ, we cannot do anything. Maybe you are thinking, oh, you are getting lots of um, you know, views in your um, you know, social medias, in all the five terms, you are getting lots of views. But it doesn't matter. You are getting lots of views on everybody. Maybe you will get it. But don't think. This is everything is doing, you are doing by your own hand. Bible says, you cannot bear fruits without Jesus Christ. In other words, 
if anybody want to take the gospel in your hand you should get the presence of the lord if you want to read the bible that time too you need the presence of the lord without the presence of the lord you cannot do anything in your life. all the ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters in christ jesus the work which you are doing for god each and every work which you are doing for god by the inspiration of the holy spirit in christ jesus praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god that's what the bible says jesus christ said i am the vine and you are the branches he who abides in me and i am in him be as much a fruit for without me you can't do anything praise the lord in another words if you are the preacher nobody can destroy you pastor joel is example in that i want to laugh in jiri ver praise the lord bachcha malayalam puranam jiri ver praise the lord ya bhayangara enna nu cheyyanale nammala tharkan dushta shaktiyala samikkum in the all the people satanic world will try to destroy you the more uh, they are destroying you our god will give more anointing and power our god will raise you up from wherever you are doesn't matter praise the lord where you are living doesn't matter from your position our god will raise you up praise the lord hallelujah so the work which you are doing for god that is not waste you are doing sometimes you are if if you are preaching the gospel you are preaching the gospel through jesus christ through holy spirit that time this is a duty of the holy spirit to give you the cover a duty to get you the protection in your life and in your ministry it is not your duty this is the duty of the heavenly father through jesus christ so the enemy will plan and execute everything whatever they are planning and everything it will happen their life but we will not get anything the reason is bible says what men can do to you my god is my helper again bible says i will never leave you nor forsake you you cannot be a failure you are a more than a conqueror in christ jesus in the bible it is well written the word of god cannot be changed if the word of god is a correct you will live in this world with a long life and preach the gospel to the captives to the nations our god will help you the day and night praise the lord hallelujah i want to say bible says wow, to all the people you are blessed with the, um, all the spiritual blessings in christ jesus you have got the dominion power again bible says i am the vine i am the uh, the true vine praise the lord hallelujah i am the tree I am the true, true God. Praise the Lord. If you are standing me, if you are saying uh, Jesus is the Lord and Savior, each and every day, it doesn't matter. Even if you are in the wilderness, you will get a water from the heaven. You will get a flourish for all the years of your life, spiritually, physically, and financially. All the areas you will get uh, fruits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, That is what book of, book of Jeremiah chapter thirty three verse three says. Call to me, praise the Lord, and I will answer you and show you a great and mighty things which you do not know. Praise the Lord. Call to me, I will answer you. Praise the Lord. Call to me. The will of God is if you are in the children of God, each and every time you have to call to Lord. We have to speak to Lord. We have to spend time with the God. we had to ask the help from god you know that one my social media account got disabled praise the lord lots of people have made the complaint against me what the complaint that means the devil is cannot uh, you know that one uh, stand in front of pastor joris gospel revival this is the reason this is the reason um uh, then what happened when i was praying to lord our god was saying pastor joli this is a new beginning in your ministry the second time of growth is going to happen in your ministry this is a new session this is a new beginning in your life not only in my ministry 
but in the entire area of my life, Holy Spirit was saying to me yesterday, I thought, oh, God, what happened? My friends told, oh, Jolly, what's a Jolly? How will preach that one? Oh, that one. But our God was saying to me, the Spirit of God was giving to me inspiration. This is a new beginning in my life, not only in ministry, in my life too. The miracle of the Lord is there in my hand, in my life, at the earliest of time. Already started. Countdown already started. The world is going to see that miracle which our God is going to do in my life within a shortest time. That is what I have got the answer from the Lord. Today, I want to say to all the people, if you are in God, our God will answer your questions. Book of Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will give answer and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Call to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Call to me. The will of God is always we have to call to the Lord. Always we have to speak to the Lord. Always we have to communicate to the Lord. Always we have to discuss. We have to discuss our things in front of the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the will of the Lord in the Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ in us, in you and me. Praise the Lord. We have to discuss our Lord each and everything. Then only our God can get you the answer of your questions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, Bible says, the book of Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 says, um, verse 4 says, He who began a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. The work which you are doing, which you, they, this work you are not at all doing by yourself. You are doing by the mighty hands of the Lord. Because of this reason, you cannot be a failure. In the old areas of your life, you will get a result from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, our God has already begun a good work in you. Praise the Lord. In your ministry, in your family life. Praise the Lord. If our God has given any of the prophetical words to any of the, any of the uh, people, any of the man of God and woman of God, this prophetical words our God has given entirely for you. This will be fulfilling in your life because the prophecy cannot be changed. Bible says, he who started, began a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Sometimes you will see some variation, some up and down, some up and down, some up and down. In Abraham's life, there was a little bit down, but it was not at all down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Abraham, he was having lots of flocks, lot of camels, donkeys, and he was a millionaire. Praise the Lord. Lot, his brother, he was also having a lot of things. They could not live together. Then they thought, then God said, you have to separate, you have to go. Um, and Lord God said to Abraham, praise the Lord. There you need a separation from your um, um, from your brother. His brother has taken a, a good place. That place was a world watered place. That name close, including Sodom and Gomorrah. But Abraham went to Canaan. It was not much a, much a fruitful place at that time. But our God was with Abraham. Our God was with Abraham. Yes, and yes, later, later on we can see that one, that Lord, he has got some problems from that country. Abraham went there. I say, powerful person, Abraham went there and defeated that king and he was taking out his brother out from that country to his place. I want to say one thing to all the people. The people are doing the work for God. If you are doing any other work for God, it doesn't matter. Maybe you are standing in the wilderness. Maybe you are standing in the desert places. Maybe you are standing the people, those who are living in this world, according to their eyes, that place is an empty place. But I want to say one thing to all the people. Our God will establish you. Our God will honor you. Our God can expand your territory. Our God can get you new wits. Our God can get you new thoughts. Our God can get you new ideas. Our God can fulfill your desire. 
the reason is the will of god is you have to flourish your entire your day all the days of your life that is what our god said to abraham look at the um the stars at the air praise the lord you will get the children your children also will be like that more than praise the lord you look at the north south west and east wherever you are looking wherever you are touching your feet that place will be you also this is a blessings this is a promise which our god has given to the abraham praise the lord all the ladies and gentlemen come on everybody forget it about your failure forget it about your anxiety forget it about your disappointment forget it about the neglections which you from your family members from your brothers maybe from your colleagues our god is with you today our god can establish you today our god can get you new life today you can change your stories in christ jesus you can make a history in christ jesus you will be a history maker in christ jesus okay. praise the lord hallelujah namal thagaram karta vinodikkilla praise the lord verikkilum praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god praise the lord namal thagaran we will never get perish if jesus christ is my lord and savior praise the lord Hallelujah! Somebody's life in is some um, I know that one uh, in my social media account got blocked, uh, um, uh, disabled. I was getting um, a vision from the Holy Spirit. This is a new beginning. The people are watching online. Our God is going to start a new beginning in your life. I don't know who somebody's life. You are going to get a new beginning in your life. In all the areas. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Glory be to God! glory be to god hallelujah all the areas you are going to get a new beginning in your life praise the lord again bible says philippians chapter 1 verse 21 says apostle paul he was he was a millionaire he was having lots of um, wealth and everything again he is saying praise the lord for to me to live is christ and to die is gain praise the lord hallelujah if you are living in this world he was saying i will live for christ day by day in all the years of my life i will live for christ nobody can separate me from the love of god praise the lord because the reason is our god is everything for me our god is taking care of my life one day i was prosecuted in the church of god but after that i came to know the power of the lord because of this reason i am the apostle our god has appointed me to preach the gospel not only for one country for the nations praise the lord nations are waiting for you nations are waiting for you the people are watching online airports are waiting for you aeroplanes and private jets are waiting for you praise the lord if you are the man of god if you are preaching the gospel for the nations our god has sent our god has prepared a separate airport for you praise the lord receive it in jesus name in jesus name receive it praise the lord hallelujah the work which you are doing for god that will not be wasted our god will remember the work which you have done for god our god will never forget you that is what the bible says if you see me then you can bear more fruits spend time with the god pray with the god our god will expand your territory praise the lord hallelujah our god will expand your territory all the areas of your life you will get flourish praise the lord hallelujah that's what the bible philippians chapter 2 verse 14 says um that's what it 21 says the um, apostle paul is saying for to me to live is christ and to die is gain praise the lord hallelujah philippians chapter um uh, two verses 14 without complaining do everything for god bible says do all things without complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless children of god without fault in the midst of the crooked and a perilous generation among whom you shine as light in the world praise the lord hallelujah without any complaining we have to do for god the god's work i i always i myself already said i was alone most of the time when i was preaching the gospel did i complain anything no i was laughing rejoicing in god i know this god one day will honor me 
if this god honored the children of israel if this god remembered the king david he was a shepherd man he was a rejected person from his family this god will remember pastor jody this god will re- will never leave me or forsake me my god is a mighty god he is a god of israel the heavenly jesus christ is a god of jacob he is a god of david he is a god of blessings this god can provide fulfill the things which you are thinking it is impossible this is a god of impossible things to make the possible things in your life praise the lord our god is a god of enlargement our god is a god of victory our god is a god of the history maker he is a mighty lord he is a living god he is a everlasting god he is a mighty lord i am the lord almighty so today the work which you are doing for god go by yourself maybe you are thinking the social media only one person is watching you our god will open a tv channel for you millions and millions of tv channel tv people our god will make you the people to hear this word of god your word of god don't look at the social media how many people are watching the facebook or everything lots of social media are open for you lot of tv channels are open for you praise the lord all the brothers and sisters in christ jesus i want to say one thing to all the people our god is looking god's eyes is on you right now praise the lord you are thinking yesterday you were crying you didn't get any of the word from the lord our god was also crying with you after crying our god is making a solution for you if our god is having any of the sympathy in you the second day you can see the miracle in your life jesus christ was preaching the gospel in front of the multitudes more than 500 men three days they were with jesus christ jesus christ was have the sympathy on them jesus christ was have compassion on them then jesus christ asked to the philip we want to give something to this people i want to feed something to this people i cannot leave them away empty with empty hand they don't have enough money to buy the food they were with me last three days this is my duty to, duty to give something to that people when jesus christ said to the uh, philip then philip said it is impossible god according to the world it is really impossible or our 5000 men are here nearly 20 more than 20000 people are here where these people can go and buy the food it is impossible then jesus christ said you have to give you have to give you have seen the lots of miracle i healed the crippled person i myself healed the blind person the lady which she was having torn years with the flow of blood when she touched my garments she could receive the healing you are with me when the time of transfiguration you were with me my heavenly father he was assigning me he was saying to me oh he is this is my beloved son the first miracle when i was doing the wedding um, uh, the time of hana the water become wine you were there you don't know philip i am your lord i am the lord of moses i am the lord of abraham i am the lord of isaac I am the Lord of Joseph. I am the Lord of Pastor Jody today. You don't know that one. Is there anything is possible in front of the Lord? No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. With the God, everything is possible. Without God, nothing will happen. But with the God, everything is possible. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I want to say one thing to all the people. Philip said, there is a, um, a child here, there is a lad here with five loaves and two fish. When Philip handed over his, this five loaves and two fish from the child to Jesus Christ, then immediately Jesus Christ took that five loaves and two fish and gave thanks to the Lord. Oh God, thank you for you. Thank you for that because you are going to do an extraordinary thing in front of. You are going to glorify your name in front of the people. Thank you, Lord. Immediately, by faith, Jesus Christ said, when the time of giving thanks, that five loves and two fish, it was not at all got multiplied. But by faith, after praying, Jesus Christ was handing over this five loves and two fish to the disciple Philip and said to the disciple, arrange everybody to sit in the grass. The disciple, by faith, they believed the word of Jesus Christ. They said to the people, sit in the grass. From this five loaves and two fish, all the disciples, they were serving, they were giving to all the people one by one. Bible says they ate all the food, the five from five loaves and two fish, as much they want, they ate. After that, 12 basket, they could gather 12 basket. This is a Jesus Christ. This is the name of Jesus Christ. This is a miracle from Jesus Christ. Our Jesus Christ is a miracle. He is a mighty Lord. He is a loving God. Ne miracle is his nature. Praise the Lord. If Jesus Christ is doing any of the miracle in your life, you will never get perished day by day. You will get a reason to rejoice in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All the ladies and gentlemen in Christ Jesus. All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The work which you are doing for God, that is not at all waste. Praise the Lord. The work which you are doing for God, that is not at all waste. Hallelujah. I want to say one thing to all the people. Today, my God want to do the miracle in your life. Today, my God want to do something uh, beginning. So our God want to start something, um, thing, uh, with the, uh, the initial things in your life. Our God want to do a new beginning in your life. This is the beginning big of the February 2021. And the 10 more months are left for 2021. Within this year, you are going to see a greatest victory in your life. In the enemy, in the enemy which you have seen in your life, you cannot see, we will not see that enemy tomorrow. The reason is our God is your shield. Our God is your protector. The goodness and mercy will follow you to all the areas of your, all the days of your life. That's what Apostle Paul said. Holding fast in the word of life that uh, so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain or labored in vain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You will get a reason to rejoice during the, you know, the, the end of, before the end of your life. Within a short time before the end of this 2021. The work which you have done for God, you will get a reason to rejoice. When you are seeing this work, when you are seeing this work which you have done for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I want to say, all the people, the spirit which is abides in you, that the spirit was not the spirit is the spirit of this spirit is not the spirit of fear. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear. When you are doing your work, you should think the spirit which abides in you, this is a creative, this is a creative, the, 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 the power of the Lord. This spirit has created this world. The same spirit which abides in you. Resurrection power, mighty power, is sitting in your heart. Apostle Paul, he was prosecuted the church of God. But when he has got the touch from the Holy Spirit, he came to know, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. This kind of spirit I have got from the Lord. Praise the Lord. All the ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. 
Our God loves you so much. Maybe you are the uh, Muslim background, Hindu background, any kind of religious background, doesn't matter. Our God is saying, I love you so much. I need you. He abides in me. Then you can walk from victory to victory. You can walk from nation to nations. You can run from nation to nations. You can do every day. You can do a greatest of things for God. The reason is, I am your Lord. I am the victory maker. I am the history maker. I can make your name great. He abides in me. Do something for me. You do something for me every day. I will do. I will, I will appoint you for the nations as an apostle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the word of God, which our God is saying to all the people. The people are watching online. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Jesus Christ is a mighty Lord. The people are in the point of the death today. This is a time which our God is giving to you. Put hope in God. Trust in God. Come back to the Lord. He abides in God. The people are not having the jobs. Believe in God. Trust in God. Come back to the Lord. Tomorrow you will get a reason to rejoice in Christ Jesus. The reason is our God is a God of the Abraham. He can bless you. Our God is a God of blessings. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Before I send session, I want to sing one more song. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Everybody present. Darkness, 
They make heroes go up, promise keep light in the darkness. God, that is who you Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you right now. The people are watching online. The people are having tippers to people. The people are doing something for God. I want to pray for you right now. Praise the Lord. Please raise your hand. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, Father. Especially the people are watching online. The people are hearing the word of God. Father God, touch everybody's heart. Touch everybody's mind, Father. Let everybody receive a reason to enjoy their life before the end of this month, Father. Father, the people are having the desire to do something for you. Heavenly Father, I pray for each one of them. Touch everybody's heart and mind. Let everybody, all the people run extra mile for you right now. Father, Father God, let everybody reason to rejoice their life. The people are watching online. Jobless people are there right now, Father. Father, when I prayed in the street, you gave the lots of people the jobs, Father. You bless with the job. Heavenly Father, I pray for them right now, Father. I bless them, Father. I honor them, Father. In the name, you have to thank you for your honoring them, the work which they, are, which they are doing for you, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless each one of them, Father. In Jesus' name. And also I pray for the people, those who are doing something for gospel work. After that, now they could not be able to do anything. They are not doing anything for you. Because of the certain things, something has happened in their life. Father God, I pray for the deepest to people. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anxiety, depressions, the loneliness, everything, the negative thoughts, everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out from their mind and from their heart. In Jesus' name, I declare the deliverance in their life. Once again more, I pray for each one of them. I pray for shake the nation church, shake the nation's non-stop gospel revival, shake the nation's TV gospel revival, and all the shake the nation's team members, Father. Bless them, Father. Keep them in your glory. Once again more, I pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name. Somebody will shout and say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please share this gospel message. As I said, my Facebook account, uh, profile and the Facebook page got uh, um, disabled with unknown, unknown reason. Now I am not any of the control in that one. So that I have opened my new Facebook page. Praise the Lord. Please like, you can see that one in the Facebook page. This is a disabled page uh, so that I am not doing any of the live in there. I have created a new page, Jolly Lasser, Shake the Nations. In that there is my photo. My photo is there. Uh, it is written, this is official Facebook page. Please like that page and join with me. I'm the part of the Shake the Nations non stop end time non stop gospel revival. Praise the Lord. My Facebook profile is Jolly P. Lasser. You can see that profile. Praise the Lord. My picture is there. God bless you. Thank you very much. We pray for everybody, okay? Those who are supporting us and disturbing us. Let, our, let them come to know the power of the Lord. Those who are disturbing us. Praise the Lord. We can give thanks to the Lord. Praise the Lord because of them. And we can pray to the people, those who are supporting our ministry. God bless you, everybody. Thank you very much. God bless you.